Good evening everyone. It has been a minute since I have made an update and I thought I would fill you guys in. Yesterday I had the day off and we were able to get a little bit of stuff done and uh, today I intended to come home after work and start working on the floor but it's supposed to pour so that's not going to happen. Um, but I'll just update you on what we've gotten done so far. We got all the uh, wood framing done for this corner here. We got some braces in between. We got the, I guess this would be the wall section of the floor down at the bottom done. And then we got this uh, piece of plywood that goes there for the tail light. And then as you can see, we have a lot of wires just kind of hanging everywhere. Um, over here is the clearance light and then the brake lights back there, which all these wires end up going into those wires and then this side goes to the clearance light but I think I'm going to get longer wires of the ones that go to the clearance light because I just don't like how once everything's wired together it's it's kind of there's there's not a lot of play so if I ever had to uh, um, do a different tail light or something there's not a lot of give um, with the length of wires that is there so I think I'm going to get some longer wires before I get that all uh, put back together. So the front of the trailer, as you can see, we pulled up the rotten uh, floor beams out of here. We actually cut them a little more than the halfway point. So we still have something to walk on over here, but we got them all up out of there. And originally what we were going to do, instead of running beams all the way to the front of the trailer to the back of the trailer, we were going to actually run them to the halfway point and have them meet at a beam across this uh, the metal part of the framing and then run the rest of them you know from the other side towards the back of the trailer but what we were finding is so for instance these pieces that have to go here that kind of tie in the wheel well they're on both sides um, these have to be there and they sit on a part of the frame that there's a metal piece here but the piece that goes across is actually about two inches over. So we couldn't run a beam from there all the way across and have it sitting on the metal. And then it met further back than our halfway point. So it was, we could have made it work, but it was kind of becoming way more complicated than it need to be trying to figure out a new way to frame this whole trailer versus just doing it how they originally had it. So. This morning we did pick up some um, two by six by 16 foot boards to cut uh, into three pieces per board. And we are just gonna run from the front of the trailer to the back of the trailer. We're gonna set some little like chunk pieces between just for stabilization. But I think it's just, it's gonna be easier in the long run. It was a good idea initially to do the halfway point beam, but just things aren't lining up correctly and it was going to take it was just going to be more complicated than it than it really needed to be so we're just going to run them the original way and go from there so tomorrow I'll be off at one o'clock so I should be able to get started on at least installing a couple pieces we are probably going to run into some issues over here getting them under uh, these walls but um, we'll get it figured out so it's it's nice to see no more rotten floor, at least on the front of the trailer. So next week, going to be purchasing our uh, insulation for the flooring. And then we'll get started on finishing up, putting in insulation and everything for these walls over here, as well as the bathroom wall. So just want to update you guys. I will try to do some more updates. We just, we haven't got a ton of stuff done recently, so... Um, I didn't feel like making a video for every little thing that we did, but, um, I'll keep you guys updated.